Today I'm going to show you how to use the RASCATS program to count pixels by category within polygon layers. Uh, polygon, in this case, we have a test buff up here in the, in the legend, which, which is a shapefile, and there's two, two circular buffers which uh, I've generated and within each one of them we want to count the, the pixels by these different categories represented by these different colors in here uh, and get some amounts by the different category, land cover categories. This is the category map here. The, this is Georgia Land Cover 2011. The RASCATS program is started from a, a shortcut on the desktop. It first asks for the shapefile, Esri shapefile overlay that you want to use. In this case, we're using test buffer, sh test buff shape. And then it asks for the raster uh, category file, in this case, the land cover, 2011 land cover data set. And then it asks for s some output file, and we're using with this program we're using comma separated value CSV files so um, we'll give it a give it a name All right and that's it for running the program let's look at the attribute table to test buffer In here, you can see that um, just like there are two circles here, there are two records in here, one for each of the circle. The uh, upper one is on the bottom and the lower one is on the top. So if I was to um, select this one here, you can see the lower one would be highlighted because it's highlighted over there. And there's only two fields in here. One has an ID of one and two, and the other one has a description of lower and upper. Here is the CSV output file brought into a text editor. The uh, first row up here on top is are all the field names. Uh, down below row two and three are the values that came in. Uh, the, the first two field names ID and DESC come from the uh, shapefile attributes and the values are the same here one lower two upper that you saw earlier now here's the csv file brought into excel you can see the um, two fields from the uh, shape file here a and b uh, id and desc upper and lower uh, circle for the upper and lower circles as well as all the other um, attribute values of the pixel counts within the um, two circles. Now that you have the data in Excel you could do all sorts of things like averages and um, uh, combining some of the categories and everything. As long as you leave the well, at least one of the columns A or B in there, ID or DESC, you can then join it to the data in QGIS and make maps out of it which I'll show you in a second. Now I'm going to bring in the comma separated value into QGIS and join it with the original test buff layer. First of all you, you use push this button over here to bring in a delimited text file then we navigate to the file we want um, then we um, can um, see tell it that we there's no geometry in this table and just bring it a, a simple data table um, and then we can select test buff and go to joins click the plus sign to create a join we want to join test four and since the same fields are in both of them I can I could have picked DESC just as well as ID to join the two tables. Click OK, OK, and when I look at the um, attribute table now, 
you can see there's not just the uh, upper and lower a one and two but there's also all the other values from the analysis are in there to use and do what you need to with okay and here's a YAML file uh, that's associated with the RASCATS uh, uh, program. They're in the same directory. Um, this is a configuration file that um, is called uh, RASCATS YML. Um, in here, there are several different values. The first category map shows the, all the categories that uh, are defined by the pixels. Each pixel will be assigned to a different category. And they're given a number in the, um, in the, in the uh, raster file. And you can actually uh, describe whatever field you want associated with each one of these. You can change, change any of these, edit the YAML file if you want to. Um, these are the fault values given in the uh, metadata, Those are the ones I put in here. Um, down at the bottom, there's a CSV output path file, which is where the CS the default value for the output for CSV, and raster categories path, which is the output for the um, what to, where the uh, Im imagery shape file. I mean, excuse me, the imagery file, the um, the uh, land cover imagery file is located. And the bottom was where the shape file is located, vector overlay path, and these these will change if you change the path while using the algorithm. 